हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट फॉर द आदर्श चैप्टर द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स So hello everyone now in this video we are going to start exercise 9.5 from the book of ml agarwal this is the second part and in this video i'm going to start from sum number 5 for the previous one that means sum number 1 to 4 please check the description box of this video the link will be there okay so as here in sum number 5 how many terms of the series 2 by 9 minus 1 by 3 Plus one by two plus dot 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 will make the sum fifty five by seventy two. That means S N equal to fifty five by seventy two. It's very easy problem. You have to find out the value of N here. So first A mean the first term. First term means two by nine, and here R equal to second term divided by first term. Remember this formula: second term divided by the first term. So minus one by three, it's nine by two. That means here minus three by two, where r less than one. If r less than one, then the formula for a sin a into one minus r to the power n, then one minus r. This is the formula when r less than one. So that one equal to fifty five by seventy two. It's given a equal to here two by nine. One minus this one here minus three by two whole to the power n, then one plus three by two, it's fifty five by seventy two. So now two by nine, one minus minus three by two whole to the power n, fifty five by seventy two. Multiply with the denominator, that means one plus three by two. It's five by two. Okay, one plus three by two. It's five by two. So now the next line, one minus minus three by two whole to the power n. Then two by nine divided by this one. So we can write down the reciprocal. So nine by two. Okay, it's eight. So the upper one here two seventy five. Lower one thirty two. Then here minus minus three by two whole to the power n, and here two seventy five by thirty two. Then minus one. Okay, two seventy five thirty two minus one. So that one equal to minus minus three by two whole to the power n, and five minus two is three. It's four two, so two forty three by thirty two. So minus minus three by two whole to the power n, or we can write down this one as minus three by two whole to the power n minus two forty three by thirty two. That means minus three by two whole to the power five. So by comparing both side, here n equal to five because in both side base equal to Minus three by two. Okay, sum number five done. Now next sum number six. The second and fifth terms of a geometric series. Second and fifth term. So a two equal to here minus one by two. Okay, and a five that one equal to one by sixteen respectively. Find the sum of the series up to eight terms. So you have to find out a is eight, okay? As you know the formula for a n that is a into r to the power n minus one. So a two means here a into r to the power two minus one and that one equal to minus half. So a into r equal to minus half. Now a five means a r to the power four that one equal to one by sixteen. Okay, now divide this one, first one and second one. So a r to the power four, a r that one equal to one by sixteen 
minus 1 by half. A, A cancel out. R cube minus this one will be 1 by 8. Okay. So 1 by 8 means minus 1 by 2 whole cube. That means R equal to minus 1 by 2. If R equal to minus 1 by 2, that means definitely R less than 1. Now find out A. A equal to minus half into 1 by R. So minus half, then minus 1 by 2. So that is plus 1. Okay. A equal to plus 1. R equal to minus half. Now find out the value of A is 8. Formula first A. A means 1. Then 1 minus R to the power N. Because here R less than 1. So 1 minus R to the power N. That means minus half whole to the power N. N means here 8. Then here 1 plus half. So 1 minus 1 by 256. And it's 3 by 2. So 255, 256. Here 2 by 3 and your final answer 85 by 128. Okay, 85 by 128 that is your final answer. Now next one, sum number 7. After sum number 6, sum number 7. The first term of the GP is 27. So A equal to 27. The 8th term is, sorry. 8 term that means a8 a8 equal to 1 by 81 find the sum of first 10 terms so a10 a8 means a r to the power 7 equal to 1 by 81 so here a means 27 so 1 by 81 into 1 by 27 and that one equal to 1 by 2187 so, 2187 is the uh, 3 to the power 7. 3 to the power 7 is 2187. That means R equal to 1 by 3. Okay. R equal to 1 by 3. That means again less than 1. So, for less than 1, A is 10. A means here 27. Then 1 minus 1 by 3 whole to the power 10. 10 terms. And 1 minus 1 by 3. So 27 into 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 10. And in denominator here 2 by 3. Okay. That means here 81 by 2. Then 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 10. Okay. No need to find out this value. Just remain this one. So that is your answer. Now next sum number 8. In sum number 8 find the first term of the GP. Find the first term of the GP. The common ratio is 3. Last term A equal to 486. And the sum whose term is 7 to 8. The sum of whose term is 7, 7 to 8. Okay. That means here is n equal to 7 to 8. So as here Sn you know the formula a into r to the power 1 sorry r to the power n minus 1 then by here r minus 1 that one equal to 7 to 8. We don't know the value of a but here 3 to the power n by 1 here 2 that one equal to 7 to 8. So a into 3 to the power n minus 1 here 1456. Okay. Double up 7 to 8. Put it equation number 1. Now here L equal to 486. L means the last term. The formula will be A r to the power n minus 1. That one equal to 486. A r means 3 to the power n minus 1. So 486. Okay. Now, here we can write 3 to the power n minus 1 as 3 to the power n by 3 to the power 1. Because as you know that x to the power m by y to the power n, sorry, x to the power n by x to the power n. That is the formula 
x to the power m minus n, the formula for exponent. So here 3 to the power n minus 1, we can write down this one as 3 to the power n by 3 to the power 1, so 486. Then a into 3 to the power n, that one equal to 486 into 3, so 1458. 1458. Now, in this equation, if you multiply this one, it will be a into 3 to the power n minus a 1456. As you know that the value a into 3 to the power n, it's 1458 minus a, it's 1456. So that means a equal to 2. Okay, a equal to 2. So here the first term is 2. Okay, the first term here is 2. That is your answer. Now next one, sum number, uh, which one? Sum number 9. In sum number 9, in a GP, the first term is 7. So, A equal to 7. The last term, L equal to 4, 4, 8. So, A R to the power N minus 1, 4, 4, 8. Then, R to the power N minus 1, 4, 4, 8 by 7. Then, R to the power N minus 1 equal to 64. The sum is, so S n equal to 8, 8, 9, okay, S n equal to 8, 8, 9, so A R to the power n minus 1 divided by R minus 1, it's 8, 8, 9, so 7 R to the power n minus 1 and then here R minus 1, it's 8, 8, 9, okay, 7 cancel out this one, 127. So, R to the power N minus 1, R minus 1, it's 127. Okay, now next one. Here, R to the power N by R, that one equal to 64. So, R to the power N, we can write down 64R. Okay, R to the power N, 64R. Now, in this equation, here 64R minus 1, then R minus 1. It's 127. Now cross multiply 64R minus 1, 127R minus 127. So it will be 63R negative here minus 128. Minus minus cancel out R equal to here. Uh, sorry, 126, not 128. 126. Okay. So that one equal to 2. R equal to 2. That is your answer. So sum number 9 done. Now next one sum number 10. Find the third term of the GP whose common ratio R equal to 3. The sum of first 12, first 7 sorry. S n equal to 2, 1, 8, 6. So A into R to the power N minus 1. Then R minus 1, it's 2, 1, 8, 6. Now, we don't know the value of A, but R equal to 3 to the power N minus 1. Here, 2, it's 2, 1, 8, 6. Then A into 3 to the power N minus 1. Now, double up 2, 1, 6, 2, 7, 4, 3, 7, 2. Okay, 4, 3, 7, 2. Now here n equal to 7, so 3 to the power 7 minus 1, 4, 3, 7, 2. So now 3 to the power 7 means 2, 1, 8, 7, minus 1, 4, 3, 7, 2. So 2, 1, 8, 6, 4, 3, 7, 2. Okay. Now the double of this one, so it's 2. So a equal to 2. a equal to 2. Now find the third term, third term means A3, A3 means A R to the power 2, A means 2, R means 3, whole square, okay, so it's 18, so that is your answer. Now the last one, some number 11, so guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here the first term of the GP, A equal to 5. The sum of first three terms, S3 equal to 31 by 5. That means 5, then 
r to the power 3 minus 1 and here 3 minus 1 sorry not it's r minus 1 r minus 1 31 by 5 okay so here r to the power 3 minus 1 here r minus 1 it's 31 by 25 31 by 25 now find the common ratio here you have to find out r so as you know the formula of a cube minus b cube so in numerator it will be r minus 1 then r square plus r plus 1 in denominator again r minus 1 31 by 25 r minus 1 r minus 1 cancel out so r square plus r plus 1 it's 31 by 25 that means from this equation uh, you have to make this one as a quadratic equation okay so 25 r square then 25 r plus 25 then equal to 31 so 25 r square plus 25 then minus 6 equal to 0 so by middle term factorization method 5 r plus 6 and 5 r minus 1 these are two factors then r equal to first one minus 6 by 5 or r equal to 1 by 5 okay minus 6 by 5 and 1 by 5 that is your final answer